Welcome back. It is the time of year when sometimes all you want to do is stay at home and cook warm, mouth-watering comfort foods. But what if you're trying to lose weight or just trying to eat a little healthier? You don't have to sacrifice calories. KXAN's Brian Sanders got a little taste of what you can cook and still eat good. With the cold weather settling in, many of us are spending time indoors, and when that happens, we often get an appetite for the warm comfort foods. The problem is those dishes are often high in fat and sugar, but there are some foods that are lower in fat but still tasty enough to make you feel good. So joining us today is Pam Wood, a leader with Weight Watchers. Good Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. And we've got uh, two great dishes that you're going to show us how to make that, again, are a little bit healthier for your diet. Right, because when people turn to comfort foods because they're having to stay indoors so much, they tend to be higher fat, higher sugar foods. Right, so yeah. So these are two great recipes from the Weight Watchers What to Cook Now cookbook okay. that actually are going to be low in fat, low in sugar, but absolutely delicious. And these two dishes, I would say, remind us of the holidays or this time of year. Very appropriate. Right. And the first one we have is the roasted red pepper beef stew. Yes. Okay. And this is. Um, made in a Dutch oven. Uh -huh. For ease, I brought it like this. Uh -huh. And the wonderful thing about this is it is full of healthy foods, uh -huh. the kind that you eat these foods to lose weight. Right. And your family would absolutely love it. So it is um, bottom roast, and I trimmed that up for stew. Okay. It's got carrot, celery, onion, and what makes it so delicious is this wonderful smoked red paprika. Hmm. Sweet paprika. Okay. And then it has a good dose of cumin in it also. Mm -hmm. So we've put this together, cooked it for an hour and a half. Okay. And before we serve it, we're simply going to add green beans. Okay. Do that. And then un un go ahead and go. these are uncooked green beans? Uncooked green beans. Okay. So just pour the whole thing in. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Eight ounces. Okay. And then we're going to stir that up, cook it for another 10 minutes. Okay. And I then see. the finale is right before we serve it. Then we're going to stir in a quarter cup of paprika. So this Excuse would, me, that's... This is parsley, yes, parsley. And, and this would go in at the very end? Yes. Okay. So and we you can know what could make it, it really up. great for us Texans is um, you could also use cilantro in this. Of so course, yeah, really cilantro. Texas it up. Goes good with everything. <laughs> great. Okay, so this is, say, you know, maybe your main dish, but then you get the taste for the sweets. Right. And what do we have today? And so this particular dish actually fits with the Weight Watchers Simple Start Plan. Mm -hmm. That's our new two-week starter plan to get you on the road to long-term success. This is also fits into our plan, uh -huh. and it is cranberry apple crisp. So you can see it's got delicious uh, apples in it. It has cranberries, and then it has this wonderful topping. Mm -hmm. And we're actually going to put that together right now. Okay. So I've already prepared the apples. It has only about a quarter cup of sugar, so it's low sugar. Are any particular type of apple? I used Granny Smith Granny just Smith. because that's my favorite. Okay. <laughs> but you know we've got Valentine's Day coming mm -hmm. up in the not too far future, mm -hmm. so I think it would be very pretty for Valentine's Absolutely. Day. Absolutely. So the last thing that we do is we just add together a little bit of sugar, which I've already included in salt, in our flour mm -hmm. with our um, oats, and this is three tablespoons of butter. Okay. And then we're simply going to use our, using our hand and one teaspoon of water, Okay. we're just going to um, get Kinda this, mash it, mash it all up, mm -hmm. yes, and then when we've gotten that completed, we'll simply put it on the top, just like we did here, and um, it cooks for about 55 minutes, and it comes out bubbly, it makes your kitchen smell delicious. Oh, I'm sure it does. It has ginger in it. And so the kitchen will smell like the most wonderful bakery you could imagine. I bet. Now, Weight Watchers recently received um, yet another accolade. It was named the top diet uh, for the third year in a row. Right. And, but earlier you described it not just as a diet, but a, a plan. And that's true. Um, weight Watchers is designed for long-term weight loss success. So while we're really going to focus on getting a simple start, mm -hmm. and these recipes will help you to do that, we need to know what do we do right now. So that's why the cookbook is called 
what to cook now. Mm -hmm. And not only do we support our members in taking the pounds off, but we support them in keeping it off for the rest of their life right. with um, healthy activity, with great um, foods that are actually designed to help us right. lose weight. That's what we're going to More of a lifestyle on. change than just a, uh, an immediate. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I do want to let you know that um, right now or anytime, um, visitors are always welcome to come into a Weight Watchers meeting for free. Find out all about it. Mm -hmm. You can find more about it also on weightwatchers.com. The cookbook is for sale anywhere that books are sold, Amazon. It's just ready for you to get started right now. And speaking of readiness, uh, we've got the topping laid out yes. on our cranberry apple. And so how long would you put this in the oven for? This is also going to bake about 55 minutes. About 50, on what, what level? At 375. Okay. And uh, again, satisfy the sweet tooth, also staying healthy. And um, you can pair that with the roasted red pepper beef stew as well. It's all in this book called What to Cook Now from Weight Watchers. We're going to post these recipes as well on our website at kxan.com. Pam, thank you so much for joining thank us you. today. It's great um, to be here. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. All right.